Art has one place, and that's to inspire and energize us as a humanity. When you look at how we sit in our universe, we are absolutely tiny. We are a speck of dust in our universe. If we can take a step back, remind ourselves of how small we are, we can embrace humility, and then we can become truly great. There was a poem that Mr. Mandela used to recite when he was incarcerated in jail on Robben Island, and it got him through 24 years of incarceration. And it was, I am the master of my fate and the captain of my soul. And he just repeated that line over and over again. I am the master of my fate and the captain of my soul. And that empowered him. And at the same time, he understood the, the message of from the darkness comes the light. And when you arise from the darkness, that light shines brighter than ever before. And amazing things can happen. I remind myself of that every day. I think it's really important. And with that comes the importance of intentions to focus not on what you achieve or what you're trying to achieve, but the intentions with which you are trying to achieve it. And that gives us that power beyond the object itself, which can connect to humanity on a deeper level with a frequency that vibrates at a higher consciousness. And then something beautiful can happen that can really ignite the imagination and the inspiration of all humanity. That's the power of art. Sasha, interview, question one, take one. This is Sasha Jaffrey, the artist. Well, I can tell you the qualities that I aspire to have. Um, whether I have them or not, I don't know, but I would hope that I have uh, humility, intention, and grace. As soon as you engage the ego, there's a problem, and you get a block. People call it writer's block, creator's block. I don't believe there's any such thing. I believe that that happens when you're not living a life of grace and realizing that you are surrendering and you are only borrowing a moment. And then you give that moment back. Rolls Royce is, is a beautiful and interesting brand. It means the highest state of luxury, technical ability, because when you drive a Rolls Royce, it's like driving a speedboat on a still lake. There's nothing that drives like it. It's incredible. This sort of, it set the bar really high at trying to do things that no one else had done and make a statement that no one had made. The idea behind the Phantom Six Elements is to raise one million dollars. So I remember I was walking the boulevard here in Dubai in late 2020 and that evening he called me and he was talking to me about everything and nothing like friends do. We started talking about what we could do together to inspire greatness. And in that context we started brainstorming and that idea came up of the six elements. And I remember me saying to Sasha, Sasha but there are only five elements. He said, no Cesar, you forgot humanity. And this was so inspiring that I said, Sasha, let's do six cars, and let's call them the six elements. And when I said six cars, for me it was absolutely obvious it must be the Phantom. 
because there is only the phantom that can take a gallery with a painting. Meditation is a position of surrender. And you can't really create from a position of surrender. Um, but apparently I do. They, they tested my brain waves um, with the pads while I was painting and they found I was in theater. Beethoven and Mozart actually were in theater um, when they created. So it's like this very interesting, deep meditative state, um, deep within the subconscious. And that enables me to, I guess, dance around with color. And as long as I stay in there, which I can, and I'm now at that point where I can sort of talk and chat and stay in that state, um, luckily. But it's taken me 25 years to be able to do that. But yeah, color is definitely my thing. Um, the world didn't really make sense to me until I started painting and pushing colors around and then everything in our world made sense to me. I believe that we are all made of energy and we communicate at our most poignant through energy. This is just the sketch, the, the working things out. I could go on for hours with this, but this is stage one. Creation, giving, and reconnecting to something more meaningful is the most beautiful form of human behavior in, in, in the form of love. And I saw that love will conquer hate every time. And charity, in my mind, is to take that lesson that you learn from looking in their eyes, bring it back to your own culture, wherever you live, your own community, and spread that message through the way, through the energy that you project onto others. And that's really why I worked with these charities and gave back to these causes. Um, and it's something I've done ever since and will continue to do for the rest of my life. We understand that at Rolls Royce, we design and build cars for the few, but we are also mindful of the many. And throughout the project, we want to go beyond the one million if possible. That's why we have created also an NFT for these cars. I think this project has so much more that it can achieve. And with the NFT project, this becomes the Rolls Royce that keeps on giving, where we aim to raise a lot more money over the next five years and really make an impact in our world. So what I've realized is, let's take each of the six elements. Water for me is about, it's one of the most key elements in our world. We're made of 90% water. Our moon affects water, the tides, the waves, etc. But water is about fluidity. It's a different type of friction. When you see a different car driving on the road, you feel that friction. With Rolls-Royce, you feel it has this fluidity of water. Fire. For me, what I'm going to see with fire on this gallery is a sense of passion, ambition, drive, that fire in the belly that drives us to succeed. It's like that aspiration of Rolls-Royce. Air is a, about a sense of freedom. It's about being on the wings of the bird. It's about exploring beyond our realm of the ground. But then at the same time, air is a very dangerous element to connect to on its own because you're gonna just keep floating up and up and up. It needs to relate to the other element, earth. The two need to work in harmony, they need to connect. So for me, it's like earth is gonna be the earthy tones. It's gonna be the tree rooted in the ground, rising up. Our flowers, our fauna, and our trees teach us something about empathy. This tree over here needs water. This tree over here has lots of water, but is deficient of a mineral. They'll talk to each other and say, hey, I need some water, can you send me some? This guy will send this tree water. This vine over here needs a mineral. 
sending him a mineral. And they send it with, without needing or wanting anything in return. That's empathy. Wind. I'm going to be really inspired by space exploration, looking at our moon, our planets, our solar system, the black holes, the, the cosmos, all these beautiful things that really inspire us to sort of escape from our realm, enter a magical realm. And I think that, again, is another thing with Rolls-Royce. You sit in a Rolls-Royce and you feel you've escaped your world for a minute. You've escaped the difficulty and the stresses of your world and you're sat in this, this cabin that really just gives you that sense of escape, release, otherworldliness, adventure, exploration, which you find in our solar system. And then humanity, to me the most important of all, that's going to be the beautiful sense of how our humanity can grow together, reconnect, and strive for something greater than we have right now through our intentions. And that's going to be shown in the colors of humanity, the pinks, the sort of beautiful pastel pinks, the scarlets that entwine, those lime greens coming up underneath, the darker blues connecting all these colors together. And that's a sense of the love in our humanity. Every color, race, religion, financial background, social background, connecting as one and really striving for something better as a united force, one humanity. And that's the idea and that's what that humanity gallery is going to look like. So this is, uh, this is the grand reveal. Wow, looking forward to they it. They are ready. I want you to absorb them first. Whoa. Wow. Humanity, earth, yes. fire, water, air, and wind. wind. What do you think? I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to fit in the cars. Right? They're going to look amazing. So here's an exciting moment. So you, you gave me this. I have now created this, and now it's over to you. And this is where it gets really exciting. I think this is going to be the soul of that Phantom. I like that. I like the idea of it being and, the soul of the car. And we'll have to build a car around that masterpiece. Yeah. What emotions do I have uh, finishing the project? I think I don't feel like the project's finished. I feel like the project is just beginning, to be honest. It's an amazing achievement, so I feel pretty excited. Um, I feel a little bit proud when I'm on my own in a, in a quiet corner. I feel humbled and I feel inspired. When you combine the craftsmanship of Rolls Royce, the beauty of the line of the car, how they've been put together by the designers in Goodwood, um, and how they've designed the car around the gallery. It's, it's an amazing thing because when you combine like pure expression and energy, which is what my work's about, with craftsmanship, something really cool happens that we haven't seen before. only made up of two words, love and empathy. And when you can combine the two to create something beautiful, inspiring, with poignancy and legacy, that's when I feel I've achieved something. And if you can inspire others along that journey, I think you're inspiring the connection of all of us. To inspire people to reconnect to themselves, each other, our creator, and ultimately the soul of the earth. If you can inspire others to do that, I think you can inspire others 
to live a life of humility, of grace, of surrender, of gratitude. Um, and I think that's, that's inspiring greatness.